Oh, I'm supposed to let everybody know. <laughs> and Dad's very scripted. And walks here. For those of you who aren't aware, he's had some issues with his vocal cords, which is why he's not yelling and screaming. And so I'll speak for him a little bit. I don't know if there was going to be something else first. Maybe you go first. Um, we're very, very happy to have you here with us today. Um, Bobby has been a part of Penland for over 40 years. As a student, how many times? 43, I think. 43. And that is usually the number I use in orientations when I talk about come back. <laughs> I mentioned the record to break. Um, so as far as, as far as I know, you're still the record holder, but we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, Bobby has been a board member, volunteer, twice. Yeah, <laughs> like some other people. <laughs> Small learner, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is that thing about that, honey? <laughs> uh, a volunteer, a donor, a winter resident, and a friend to so many of us here at Penland. I know that Bobby often calls Penland his second home. And Bobby came to Penland the first time in 1978 uh, to take a class with Bobby Turner. <coughs> And uh, like so many of us, that was an experience that changed his life. And he kept coming back and coming back and coming back. Uh, and uh, he's taken many, many play workshops here. And, but he's also helped shape the community that we all love up here at Penland. We are very grateful to Bobby and his family for their continued support. Uh, it was a gift in 2001 during Penland's very first campaign called Preserve Penland. Um, it was a gift that initiated the naming of the Clay Studio. But Bobby didn't want a plaque on the wall saying the Bobby Cadis Clay Studio as long as he was still going to take classes here. So that's just another, another trait of, of Bobby's that shows how much he cares and uh, his deep concern for Penland and his Penland family. So today, it's our honor to formally uh, acknowledge this very generous gift with this official naming of the Bobby Cadiz Clay Studio. So I have to say, I walked by earlier today and I thought, can I add anything a little bit more formal? And then I thought, no, it's so appropriate. <laughs> that the honor is truly ours to, to um, name this studio in your honor today. I also want to thank Susan, Susan Fegan, who, um, who designed and fabricated the sign uh, for her, her friend. I have an, these are made from Bobby's chart, from yeah. Bobby's sign. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so there's Bobby's signature here, <laughs> and then other places there. Yeah, thanks for making all those pods. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it makes it extra sweet to walk by every single day and see that it's Oof. not just the beautiful Oof. sign that Susan made in your honor, it's also a part of you and, and your gift to Penland. So on behalf of all of us and the board, thank you, Bobby. Okay. No, I, I can. I, I can. I think I can do him justice. Dad wanted first to introduce the family. You know, Dad. You know that wouldn't come as a surprise to you. So I'll start. We'll try to go youngest to the oldest. We'll start with the grandchildren. This is Eloise or Wheezy, Ben, Ike, I'm trying to make sure I get everybody in the right order, Cooper, Jack, and Dylan, six grandchildren, and my baby brother Danny, and <laughs> Donna, and I'm Jeff, and of course, the boss. Oh, 
Dan, I'm sorry. Your wife. Shona. Okay, I'll pay for that. On the <laughs> and the important wife, Mrs. Claudia, is anybody knows. Dad says, make sure that you thank everyone for coming out of their way and being up here to celebrate Cynthia and Edwina's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy birthday to and, and, and finally, and I'll read this directly, um, I've always said that Penland was like a second home to me. I think I need to change that. Finland has become my first home. Thank you all for helping celebrate this wonderful and happy occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me? Yes. Me. Okay. I hope I get through this without breaking down, but if I do, Sorry. bear with me. I'm Claudia, who back in 1978 said to my husband, have a good time, <laughs> as he went off and left me with three children, <laughs> ages 10, 9, and 7, or somewhere around there. Summer vacation, too. No school. No school. <laughs> um, he called the second night. I'm not sure the telephone. I'm not going to go through all 43 years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He called from some telephone booth and said, I don't know if I can do this. I said, what do you mean? He said, I, I, I don't know if I can do it. It's hard. Um, Bobby had done pottery, but not consistently. And he was with a man that he came to love, really, truly love, Bob Turner. And I said to him, I'll tell you what, pack up and come home. <laughs> or don't call me and tell me you can't do it. <laughs> I said, one or the other. You can do it. So that began his first week. He got home, and um, he, he had a very difficult time adjusting to being home. He said to me, that's my magic mountain. He said, I, I don't know if I can be here. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> so that began Bobby's long journey and love affair with Penland. He has told me many times that no matter how much he has done for Penland, Penland has done more for him. It took a very rigid, successful commercial real estate developer and expanded his world beyond anything he imagined. And for that, I thank all of you. No. We, did you just talk? <laughs> um, Bobby grew in ways that I don't think he ever thought were possible. Um, it, it just his, it was wonderful watching his experience here. His love of each of you, his love of the school, his love of clay, um, just was remarkable. Um, I want to say to my children, and to Dan, and to Shauna, and to my grandchildren, I have a few more words after this, <laughs> that I want every one of you, at some point in your life before you leave this earth, to come to Penland, to spend two weeks, and have the experience that Bobby had, and I will pay for every penny. <laughs> every penny. <laughs> if you've been here once and you want to come back, Danny, it holds true. <laughs> Danny's been here. Danny came. But every one of you needs to feel what Penland does for you. I tell people who come to the auction, this is wonderful, but this is not Penland. Sorry. <laughs> that offer be for friends of mine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone that's here to be <laughs> Bobby and I have had an amazing journey together. Um, we have been married 55 years in April, long time. Oh, cool. um, we are fortunate beyond words to have three amazing children. 
and six amazing grandchildren. Jeff is married to the love of my life. <laughs> Donna has a partner who I adore. We couldn't be more fortunate. Um, Penlin will become my home, I hope. I told Edwina, I said, I'm going to be such a good weaver one day, they're not even going to talk about you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's um, very special to have all of you here. Hi, Sally. Um, it, it really is. It means maybe more to me than it does to Bobby. I'm not sure. Maybe. Why did it become your first home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So thank you all for coming. Um, walk by the sign frequently. Think about us. Know that we're all thinking about you for as long as there are cadises roaming the earth. <laughs> and I hope that each of my grandchildren understand seriously my genuine offer and encouragement to come share in two weeks that will change maybe even more than Outward Bound Jack. <laughs> I know that changed maybe. your life. But there is magic on this mountain, as Bobby said. And I want each of you to be able to share some of that. Thanks.